And we are live. Let's go. We got another episode of Hot Tag Takes here for you guys. I am your host, John Brecco. Unfortunately, PJ couldn't make it tonight. Got in a car accident. He's okay. Thank God. Just to let everybody know why his Viking beard itself is not here tonight. Ruben, I'm actually kind of upset that PJ's not here. You want to know why? I could finally, for one, at, for once in my life, level with this man about sports because of all that Taylor Swift bullshit going on. <laughs> like, this would have been the first time I'd have been able to bring up sports on my show in fucking months. He's not a big sports uh, guy? No. no he's, uh, he's, not, he's not a sports guy at all. <laughs> so so if 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 I if I br- if I bring up sports I start talking about football he'll talk he'll talk about a pop fly into the end zone like fucking Dexter's laboratory like it, it'll be so bad oh my god but yeah I'm convinced Travis Kelsey just wants a sugar mama I'm not going to lie yeah that, I mean, that that's where I'm at That would be a pretty good deal for him I'm not I'm not I'm not even mad at no, it No I'm not honestly. mad about it Well, you think so? I mean, maybe. That's that's gonna be what our next song is about. That's what you think? I can see it. That's true, bro. They've all, they've been afraid of that. What are you talking about? Everybody's been afraid of that. What do you mean? He's not afraid. He just won a Super Bowl. Yeah, he just he's ready to risk it all. He he he, he, he just. Bro, he was risking it all before the yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, now nah, he has he hasn't been able to do that. His quarterback gets paid too much money. That's true. That that's why he needs a sugar mama. That's right. That how, how do how do you how do you play in the NFL and you still look like you're asking for spare change? <laughs> Come on now. Anyways, we have got a great show. For you guys today, I wish PJ could be here for it, but I'm so excited to have this person on. This has been a few months in the making. This is the owner of High End Detail over here in Hamilton, right? Yes, Hamilton. All right, we have got, I'm going to butcher your last name so bad. I want to see how you do. Becca Compagnucci! Woo! That was correct. Good job. Let's go! That was was perfect. Nobody's ever got it the first try, so... Uh. Props. Me, 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 and PJ are both Italian, so I, w- I was trying pretty hard. Your last name, Brecco. Well, um, right? I, I, it's, it's an Irish last name, but there's there's Italian on my mom's side. Mom's side, okay, yeah. gotcha. So it's, it's it's not fully Italian, you know. I'm, right. I, I'm kind. I kind of need some milk in the participation trophy <laughs> right now, but I eat my pasta like shit too. Like I don't, I don't, I don't roll it up. As long as you don't do uh, Olive Garden. Oh that's no. All that no. Yeah, no. All right. That that that's it. I'm good then. I'm good. I can I can still make it in there. Exactly. I will do it for the breadsticks though. I was gonna say, and have you ever had Loki the chicken and yoki soup from there? Uh no. I, I I've had the minestrone soup. No, if you like ever, when I was a kid. If you ever do go again, the oh, chicken dude, and yoki. I fuck with their mac and cheese. I haven't though. been there in like three or four years. I dude. would go like once a year type dude. of thing. I would go so ham on their mac and cheese and just keep going on the breadsticks just so they could give me as much candy as possible <laughs> when I was a kid. Oh, like the chocolates that they give you? Oh, then? my God. Yeah. yeah, because, dude, when when I was a kid, like, the more food you ate, the more candies they would give you. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, like, yeah, they probably don't do that anymore. Yeah, no, probably not anymore. <laughs> it's like one but, piece per kid now. Oh, dude. Like, there there would be times where I would walk out of there probably with, like, 20, 30 pieces. But they were, were they mint chocolate? I think so. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't ever like the mint chocolate, dude. But. I I gotta tell you, just from those experiences, like if I was ever homeless, like <laughs> I feel, I feel like be, I feel like you know, coming into Olive Garden, I might be able to survive. Yeah, honestly, you know what I mean. They give you mad food, dude. For low budget. It's low budget Italian. It's not even Italian, but it's low budget microwave. Food. It's like a yeah. It's giving low budget. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's like a frozen Italian yeah. fugazi food. The 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 only way the only way I'm doing it is if I'm homeless. Yeah, just just, just so I make that clear. Right. Other otherwise, I'm I'm not going for microwave fugazi bullshit. Nah. Nothing. You get thirty dollars, and then you get a shit ton of food, some chocolates. Nothing. Whatever. We 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 need some. We Olive Garden needs some real paisans. Bring that shit back. <laughs> yeah, we have to go in. Yeah. Right. 
<laughs> bring bring somebody from the motherland to Olive Garden. Right. See if somebody gets smacked around. Bring in Nona. <laughs> Oh, man. How you doing, though, man? Everything's good. Can't yeah. complain. Yeah, just living life, working. Living your best life. You know, yeah. You know how it is. Yeah, man. We were talking about this. I think I think you asked me because you noticed the bathing suit. You're like, why the fuck is he wearing that right now? Yeah. In September. Yeah. About the, the swimming, yes. Yeah. So I didn't know this from watching the show with Tracy. I got through, I think, maybe two-thirds of it. I didn't know you did swim, too. I do, yeah. Yeah, oh, so, man. well, I used to, like, competitively, so all throughout middle school, I was in this pool club, country pool swim club, and then throughout high school, uh, I still swam competitively, Yeah. and uh, I haven't swam competitively in, it's, how old am I, 26, so, what, well, it's been, like, 10 years, but, I mean, if you throw me in a pool, like, I'd be able to survive, like, I'm, I've learned a lot like, of skills yeah. that I need to survive, Yo, like, out in the world. You, you've, you've done more than me. I've done, like, <laughs> one race, maybe, like, four months after Dude, I it's got hard. certified. It is so hard. And even when I was swimming competitively, like, I was never the kid that came in first. It would be, like, second or third. But it was hard. Like, Dude, very I, hard. I went into that race. I was, so, I was so unprepared. I think I came in with, like, loose shorts. You know? Yeah. I had, I had goggles that were getting water in them when I dived. Oh, yeah. You know? I used to hate when uh, I would dive in and water get on my nose and it would just yeah. burn, but you have to suck it up. Yeah. But uh, what was your favorite stroke? Like, my favorite. Some... Uh, my favorite is probably breaststroke because I can just here. chill. So easy. I could I could yeah. just chill. That's the I, only I time could just I came in I first. could just glide forever. Yeah, no, that's the only time I came in first, and I still use breaststroke to this day when I'm in the ocean, and I just want to be lazy to get back. Yeah. So when. When I when I ra- when I raced that one time I did freestyle. Soon as I went off the blocks, I I I was like I already got to save my pants. I was trying to open my eyes because I had water in them. Right. When I got to the turn, I was like, "Fuck it, I'm fixing myself really quick." So, <laughs> so you just stopped. I didn't I didn't I didn't flip or anything. So like I got there and like I just bounced like really quick. Just emptied the goggles, fixed the pants. While and you're I just in kept motion. Going. That's pretty impressive. I was That's I was I trying, think. and I could hear everybody like, "No, no, why?" Uh, yeah, because you normally you're supposed to wear like speedos, and if you have long hair, I had long hair at the time. I had to wear like this cap that I had to wear the cap, like literally rips your hair to oh the back God. of your head. Like, and I had so much hair when I was younger, so yeah. But I mean, it keeps you in shape, um, and it definitely gives you a lot of skills that you need if you were like in the ocean. I'm a, big beach person so i'm never worried about when i'm out like surfing and plus i just get to throw people's kids around for a few hours and somebody doesn't nobody's looking at me like i'm an asshole that's true yeah that's true (laughs) that's always fun oh dude my one of my favorite parts is when somebody tells me it's cold because that's like automatic just I'm chucking yeah, this yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, uh, all right. <laughs> like, let, like, yeah, like, like, yo, I can fix that. Come here. Right. And you just start, and you just start counting to three. Oh my god, yeah. Were you the type that you would like jump in automatically into the pool, even if you knew it was cool, or do you like ease your way in? See, I'm like that now. Uh huh. Like, I'll I'll jump right in because I know if I try to ease my way in, it'll take me like a fucking year. Yeah. So now, now I just jump right in. Back when. I was a kid. That would, that would take me like a good ten minutes. Yeah, no, it, I because 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 you because you, you overthink it. You do, yeah. Especially when you you're do. a kid. It, if, so. Especially if it's a, it's a pool and it's deep. Okay. You know, but um, yeah, I I still walk into this day because that shit's yeah. way too cold. I'm like a very, I guess, warm blooded person. I love nah, the I'm heat. Pu- I'm, so. uh, I'm I'm pulling I'm pulling somebody in. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh I'm not I'm I'm not waiting here for like ten minutes. No, I mean it's your job, so you kind of have to. Yeah. So you're like, like, all right, let me get this shit over with. Like, like I'm just, <laughs> just, just be over here floating like any day now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh man. So, you're the owner of a car company, right? Yeah. So uh, and, mobile detailing. Yeah. So, this is the first thing that I want to ask after watching the show with Tracy, because she asked you, you know, all kinds of good questions, you know, about your business, you know, all the services you provide. I just kind of want to know this for myself, uh-huh. you know, because I, I'm I am not the best person with cleaning out my car. Right. I'm I'm pretty shit at it. I'm not gonna lie. It's okay, that's most people. The worst thing that I 
<clears throat> that I probably have in my car is water bot is a lot of times and I actually cleaned it out last night. Water bottles like all over the front seat. Oh yeah. That, right? But that's so easy. I look like yeah. I smoke so much fucking weed <laughs> based on my car by itself. Right. So like compared to, you know, some of the other cars that you've seen and you could talk about which whichever car whichever horror stories you want cuz right. I'm sure you have some. You know, how bad is my car compared to some of the others? Because, I mean, I have, like, other junk in there, too, but it's, uh-huh. like, swimming stuff. If it's just, you know, like... Stuff I never actually yeah. put when, in my house when we I moved. mean, you said you said you just have, like, a bunch of water bottles. You have, like, some maybe equipment or goggles or whatever in the yeah. back. I mean, that's, that's nothing because that's just, like, you take it out and you throw it out. Like, yeah. What makes a car really, like, I guess, tedious to work on would be a lot of stains, um, like, tears in the leather... Uh, scratches in the actual frame of the car, things like that, or like in the cup holders when people have a bunch of goop and stuff like that. What my old car used to have, because whenever, because I don't do this now, but like whenever I get mad and I'm in my car, I would just like bang on like the cup holder, yeah, right, because it was it was just there for me to hit, right. So it was like it was like half on and like half ripped apart. <laughs> I remember one time, one time my fiance's dad was asking questions about it. She's, he's like, yeah. "Why is this like half ripped?" <laughs> and it was plastic, you know, because or what or leather. I, I don't know. Probably a little bit of both. Okay, yeah. I but, mean, that's like a force to to break that open too. I've well, I mean, I mean, it was it was like six years yeah, of wear and tear. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that added up after a while. And I remember he was he was he was asking my fiance Abby questions about it because he's like, "What the fuck is going on here?" Right? Yeah. Because the thing is, he he does the repairs for my car because he works for he works as a mechanic for the state police. Oh, nice. So that's awesome. It, he's he's a really good person to go to. Probably right. the only one I trust on my car. Actually, no, I, yeah, it's it's hard to find people like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, for I, sure. I, I I I almost refuse to go to anybody else because it's like I I don't know this man from Adam. I'm not going to some sketchy car yeah, shop. You never know. That, that like, I'm not going to some sketchy car shop. My dad has tried to recommend. He's recommended way too fucking many. Yeah, oh I my God. Uh, so I had a situation. I came outside of my house the other day, and my driver front tire was like slashed. And yeah, no, I swear to God. But I seriously, How? I seriously think that it was like that for months because for the past few months, my front, back, and then other side rear tire it comes up on my monitor like fill air like fill air but like i would fill it and then a couple weeks go by it'd be like fill it again so i've been having this issue then i saw that gash and i guess it's the way that i parked in my driveway like it was open um so i just took it to the jeep dealership because i really didn't know where else to go and honestly it was like an emergency i was like i can't drive my car yeah and, and i did not know anybody else so i was like i'll just take it to jeep so i took it to 130 and there was this guy there, uh, his name was Rob, and he treated me so kindly. He hooked me up, he fixed my alignment, all four oh, tires, nice. and they treated me super kindly there. So I like was out with my car, brand new tires and everything within like two hours. Oh, that's beautiful. So, but yeah, I was like, what the heck is, like, I, it was like a giant slash in my front so tire. I was pulling out of my second job, um, which I got out at like 10 in the morning. I, and here's the thing, this is like right, this place is like right across the street from my house. Uh-huh. So it's beautiful. It's usually beautiful driving back and forth, but I go to pull out and cause I live over, you know, where like the Burger King is on Quaker Bridge Road. Yes. I live there too. <laughs> where over like Mary run? Uh, near, do you know where, like, Macon is and Holt in, like, that neighborhood? Okay, I was about to say, I swear to God, if you No, that would be, that would be crazy. Across the street from, uh, that gas station. What is it called? It's like a little... Exxon? No, Little Dinky Gas Station. Fuck. I, it starts uh, with a P, dude. I forget what it... Pen something. I, it's oh like a God. yellow Dinky Gas I'm Station. I'm trying to think. Right on Quaker Bridge Road. Right, right I, before I, the liquor I, store. I feel like I know what you're talking about. It's like pens or something. I don't know. Oh my god! But it's like a little dinky oh, gas is, station. I live this, in the neighborhoods across. This from is there. this is gonna bother the shit out of me. Me too, because I literally live right <laughs> next to it, and I drive past it every single day. Poolins. Okay. That's. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
Poland's gas station. I feel like I would if I saw it. It's just like a yellow All little right. dinky so, thing. So you're you're on, you're on the Burger King by Quaker Bridge yes. Road. All right, you're about to make that turn onto the road. Am I going left or am I going right? On Quaker Bridge Road, so yeah, like if I, if I'm if I'm passing that Burger King, that's, you gotta you know, yeah. If I'm so on Sloan still left, left. You gotta make a left. Okay, so you pass Burger King, you pass Taco Bell, you pass that new liquor store, the buy rate or whatever. Yeah, and then there's Poland's gas station. You make the first left. Oh, that very first one. Yes, okay, yeah, I yeah, got it yeah. now. I'm yeah. in that neighborhood. I know about that. Yeah, you're like right there. Holy shit, that's crazy, dude. Dude, I could walk. I could walk to Bills, and you're on the way. No, literally, I can walk to Bills too. Good, yeah, because yeah. I'm because I've done that before. Like, if I don't if I don't want to drive, if I don't, if I know I'm not going to be able to trust myself after, I'll just fucking walk. Right. No, me and my friends debate that all the time. We're like, oh, if it's nice out, we could just walk to Bills. And now it's too cold out. I'm not walking to Bills. And yeah, I'm 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 pretty fat. I might I, be okay. I I'm done with Bills anyway. It's just, dude, dude. <laughs> honestly, so I, I I've been done with kills for like a long time. Really? Yeah, but. Honestly, part of me wants to go back. Do they still have cornhole? Do you know? No. No? no they have Tic Tac, not Tic Tac Toe, uh, Connect Four. We were playing the other night for the my fuck? friend's birthday. They have, like, do you, have you been there since they had the cabanas? I literally have not been there probably in, like, four or five years. Oh, uh, so they redid the outside a little bit. The outside is really nice, and there's, like, three or four cabanas, that I guess you can rent out or whatever, but one of the cabanas had a Tic Tac Toe thing, and it was my friend's birthday, and we were, like, convincing our guy friend. We were, like, can you go over to that person's cabana and, like, convince them to take the tic-tac-toe? And he went over there, and it's, like, a gigantic wooden tic-tac-toe thing. And he carried it through, like, 50 people to get back to us. That's and beautiful. Play yeah, it was very noble of him. Yeah, right? But, um, but yeah, no, I, I think Kills is nice. I like the outside a lot. I don't I don't like Bills. Bills, walking into Bills feels I want, like. Dude, I'm, I just, I just, I just, I wanted to go back to Kills just to play cornhole. Oh, they don't have it. And they, no. Oh, my God. No, they I'm, don't have it. I'm so upset. Bills is, like, very... It's giving low budget. Like, the, uh... I don't know. It's just... I just... I just... I just, I just like to see it. Yeah. Like, at this point. I used to... I used to like Bills, because I used to see people I know. Right. You know what, Bills? You know, I feel like I see that less now. And then I, ju- I just see... I just see all the trash come out, and it's like... Yeah, I don't really know anybody there, which I'm like, I'm and cool I, and with I'm that, just, but... And, I, and I'm just, like, watching what's going on. Right, yeah, you're, like, an, a bystander. It's, yeah, like, entertainment. No, like, I'll, I'll, I'll spectate until 2 right. in the morning. I, I can will do this. say they do have cornhole at Bills. And the outside of Bills, when yeah. it's, like, they're having an event or something, it is really fun. So the outside of Bills... Depends on the band they get. That's true, yeah. Dude, because uh, honestly, some people, because we, we went, there was this one band there... And we were like the only ones actually paying attention, dancing. It was me, my fiance, and then it was like four of us, four other people. We were like the only ones over there. And there was like one group that came over because we were over there, and then that, that like that was it. I was like, why the, why the fuck are these guys even showing up? If right. you guys are just gonna chill in here. Yeah, there's like, a some days it's like it's really packed there. Some day, like, have, did you go on St. Patrick's Day by any chance? Oh, it's always packed there on St. Patrick's. Oh Day. yeah, but like the outside, they had like this really good band. I don't know who they were, but they were great. The outdoor bar, the entire parking lot was full. Like, I like that place. I, I don't like I, going inside. I went in St. Patrick's Day in 2017, and I never went that day again after that. No, <laughs> dude, because I'm literally like shoulder to shoulder. Try, try, trying to get some fucking beer, cause you know that's all. That's all I want to drink. I'm right. pretty fucking simple. Like I don't need to be shoulder and shoulder for this. No. Are you a big drinker? Or are you just like when you go out type of thing? When I go out, I'll have some. I don't. I don't go crazy like I used to. Right. You know, I I I used to be a lot worse when I would go out. Now I just I just kind of want to chill with a beer and some food. Yeah, like I'll I'm I'm fine with going to first and ten, you know, grabbing a beer or two, you know, munching on some killer wings because I I love spicy food. Yeah, I'm the same way. Let's go. Love spicy. I love it. Oh yeah. my god, it has to have flavor. Dude, like I hate bland types of food. If if you go to first and ten, and you ever get their killer wings. Dude, let me let me know how you feel about. Yeah, those. I've never been there, but because I got I got I got like a really I got like a really good batch of it. I think because when I got down to the sauce, you know how you know how a lot of those hot sauces, you know, 
get like this real real red sauce. Yeah. And then there's like this like almost like dark black part. Oh yeah. Like in the middle of it. Like it 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 look it looked beautiful. <laughs> it was like an oil spill. Like no, <laughs> no no my friend Justin looked at it. He's like, bro, I think you just saw the devil. <laughs> I was eat. I was over here eating them. I'm like, is this the same as selling my soul? Do you like like really spicy food? See, the, my sweet spot is I like to hurt myself on food, but it tastes so good that I keep wanting more. You got to try the one chip challenge. I have tried that. It from the side, the that one, the Seven Eleven one. So me and my sister, we split one. She was like, I I want you to to do this with me, and I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, like I'll do it. Like I it can't be that spicy if we like split it or whatever. And we split it, and I was literally like on the ground, oh like my God. sobbing, like sweating my lips. It felt like I just got lip filler. Like that was that was too much. So I actually did this on my way to a show in Connecticut. I did this with a friend of mine. Um, we had one each and we took it down. He's, he's over here like dying in the back, just contemplating life. (laughs) I'm in the front seat, dramatic as fuck. Just like, yep. Try to drink anything I could find. I went through like two big ass Gatorades in like 10 minutes, like to a point where like, I'm, I'm ready to throw that back up. And I'm like, I can't drink it anymore. Like this, this was so bad. We actually had to stop for ice cream. Oh yeah, at the very or some, next or rest milk stop. or something. Like because because like I just need something. Right, man. and the taste itself, and like even the smell of that chip that it, we're it, talking it, about, it's disgusting. Like it just smells like straight chemicals. See, see, see if if it tasted good, I might. I'm. I don't know. I. I mean, I still don't know if I'd be able to do it. But there's a better chance. I yeah. like to hurt myself on good food. Right. Yeah, that did not taste. Like good. I like to enjoy hurting myself. Right. Like there was there was nothing enjoyable. No, about it just that. tastes like chemicals, and I don't even remember. I don't want to remember, but it was awful. I'll never yeah, do it again. Yeah, no, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to do that anymore. No, no. You want to know what I was kind of excited for, but I was really let down by. Huh? So I went to Wingstop, right? And I wanted to try their atomic wings because I heard they were really hot. Uh-huh. I'm not even gonna lie, the killer wings at first and ten were hotter. And these wings just tasted like fucking feet. I've never been to Wingstop because it's a chain, and I feel like when it's a chain like that, they're not as good. They're like, I don't know, like frozen. See, and, see I went there before I knew they were a chain. Right. Like, I went there when they only had one in, like, Newark. Yes. And then they didn't have, you know, one that was easily accessible at Olden Avenue. Yeah, they, they did. Like, they I appre- one, like I'm not going to lie. I appreciate White Castle because the closest one is probably like half an exactly, hour Exactly, so it's away. like the reward to get there and yeah. then sit inside. They, they, re- they replaced that Sonic and then they put on White Castle. It's not going to taste as good. No, exactly. You, you'd you never go. Yeah, because, you know, I'm not going to pass it that often. You know, let me get to this, just that 10 slider meal right, right now. And just fucking gorge really quick. I used to love White Castle when I would go to Seaside and it's on the way because it was just like that's the only one within like a 50 mile radius. Yeah. And I saw it in the the movie and everything. So it was like really that's, popular back that, in the that, day. That's what, that's what really did it. Yeah. For what movie was that again? Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Okay. Yeah. That, that's exactly what it was. And so in like 2010 or whatever, it's like super popular to go to White Castle. And as soon as I knew where one was, when I go to the beach, I make my mom stop there. And That's uh, fair. Yeah, I love it. But there's one in Edison, too. It's probably like 35 minutes away from us. I'm trying to think. Yeah, probably. No, the best was when I was going to school in Jersey City. And, like, right past Journal Square, there was, like, a White Castle, like, right there. You just go, like, behind the train station. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm pretty sure it was a 24-hour one, too, which was just fucking beautiful. Oh, yeah. My God. Where did you go to school? Uh, St. Peter's. Where is that? Jersey City, you said? Mm-hmm. Okay, nice. What did yeah. you uh, major in? I majored in communications, and now you see how much I'm using that with my full-time job. No, I, like, assumed that it was communications. Because of this? No, because – exactly, yeah. Okay. Because my brother-in-law um, did communications as well, and he has, like, his own podcast too, so. Mm, it makes sense. It, yeah. It involves a lot of media, so. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's really where you learn about it. Right. So, 
I mean, I think I got interested in radio first, and then communications after that just made sense. Yeah, exactly. Because I went in undecided, so. And then that kind of just all happened. And then one day you'll be able to do this every day. Yeah. Yep. I mean, hopefully, you know, that's yeah. that, that's what that's what, you know, I'm hoping for. But well, we'll put it out there and Yeah, and right? Like, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, you want to know something? I've really enjoyed honestly teaching kids how to swim and just helping people in general. Absolutely. And, you know, I've had some amazing experiences doing radio, but I've also had some really just fucking awful ones. Right. So, well, like, you like, know, I look uh, bad guests or something. Or not, just, like, not technical. even, not even bad guests. Just certain jobs that I've had in the past, right? You know, that I thought were gonna be really, really good and like a dream come true, right? And then you just end up being like miserable because it's not what you thought it yeah, was. Yeah, no, for sure. So it only takes one, though. Yeah, it only takes one. Then, then it's either that or then you find something else that you know you never thought you'd enjoy, but. No, but you know, it is good to, to do something where you're helping people, too. Yeah, you're right. Man. And, um, you know, I feel the more, like, especially when it's kids, too, it's very rewarding. Yeah. Because they're, they're going to remember that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, right? If you're nice enough, they'll remember I was about it. to say, because I yeah. barely remember my swim lessons. Or, uh, I was like four. If you're, if you're mean enough, they'll remember you. If, they're, if you're nice enough, they'll remember I was like, you. So. I, was like, I was like, who the fuck was that lady that kept making me too backstroke when I didn't <laughs> put my ears in the yeah, water? Yeah, if it's someone you don't like, then you're not going to want to remember. You're going to trauma block it, but... I, I couldn't even tell you if I did or not, to be honest. Yeah, this I don't is probably remember. a bad sign. I remember my swim coach, but I don't remember like being in first grade YMCA, being a guppy at yeah. the swim lesson. I don't remember nah. that. But swim coaches, yes, I remember. All for right. sure. So, the biggest question that I probably have for you, since you work with cars constantly, is how did you get into cars? Really, just in the first place, because you kind of explained how you got into like graphic design and how that kind of helps you out today right so like were you always into cars or was there just like a place or time or story about like how you developed an interest in them yeah i have honestly like before this i was i wasn't really ever like a a big car person where okay. there's like a whole culture where, where people like really like go to meets and stuff like that like yeah. i was never like that type it was more so i love being clean and cleaning like that was the big focus and so i got a brand new car a couple years ago and so i was just kind of researching how to do it on my own instead of paying somebody else and then i came across this guy who had a business out of it and so i was kind of following him but it was more so just like i love things being very neat and very tidy and uh, i think that's what helped and like uh, obviously like the more i do it and the more different cars i see and everything i'm i'm like very interested in it now okay um it's not like one of my i wouldn't say cars are like one of my passions but i i will say like you were saying about swimming like helping people people are always extremely happy after you're done with it um and just the fact that I get to travel to different places, see different neighborhoods, and meet new people, that's what I really like about it. I'm just always on the go. So the interest in cars kind of basically developed, you know, yeah, from doing this? for sure. Yeah, for sure. Did you expect it to develop, or did, is it something that just kind of happened and ended up being almost a happy accident? Uh, I, no, I didn't, I didn't really expect <clears throat> it. I always just wanted to look at it, like, very, um, like, as a business, and, okay. and nothing else just to see if I even liked it because I wasn't really I wasn't sure if it was even going to work you know what I mean so I wasn't right. very like passionate about it in the, in the beginning the more I do it the more passionate I get about my business which is really nice like I, I genuinely do like what I do um and it's very unrealistic for people to say like oh follow your passion is going to be great because the when you follow your passion sometimes the more you do it, it be, then it becomes a job but my job became yeah. my passion which is awesome. So it was I, like the total that, opposite. I, I, I feel that. Yeah, 1, it was a total percent. opposite. And I'm so glad that uh, I did something that was kind of like out of my comfort zone rather than me doing something that I guess I'm my passionate God. about, you know? Bro, bro you, you, you have no idea how much, you know, just after, you know, the conversation just we had about swimming, how, how much I just I just felt that right now. Yeah, exactly. Like 1,000%. One, 1, because you, know? you never thought you were, you probably oh never thought God. you were going to do this, but you love oh it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell you how it started, too. So, <clears throat> I 
finished working at a radio station in South Jersey that I thought was going to be amazing. I, I thought this was my, like, my first full-time job in radio and everything. And, you know, I get through, like, the first three weeks of it. I'm really enjoying myself, you know. On-air chemistry seems great. You know, we're trying to get, we're trying to reach out to different people in the area, you know, just to get, like, events and stuff. And I remember getting this guy three guests to drive all the way from Long Island, different, you know, stand-up comedians from the area, and basically just got ripped into, you know, told, like, I wasn't even, like, a sidekick on the show. Like, why would I bring them By, here? like, your I boss? That, yeah. Okay. No, not even my boss. Oh. The person I was, the guest. you know, doing... Not the guest. Mm. The person I was doing the show with, the host. Uh. So... You know, we have a we have a back and forth on that on Friday, and I'm and you know, I'm super upset that I made these guys that I know drive out here, and they get treated like that. I get treated yeah, like that. Absolutely. You know, I get relegated to news after that, and I'm just like, this this wasn't what was supposed to happen. Right. You know, when I, you know, do my part, try to get guests for you, and this is what I get in response for it. So, you know, that, you know, obviously didn't last too much longer. And then I found out Robert Wood had some openings to lifeguard. And I was like, you know what? I got nothing to lose. I got nothing else I'm doing right, right. now. Let me see this and let me try to make something out of it. So I go and I take the lifeguard test. I swim a couple of days beforehand you know, to kind of prepare myself for it. Cause at that point I hadn't been in the water in like years. Right. Cause you know, it was 2021. Nobody was exactly going to nah, swim in any pools nah, back then. Not. So, you know, I go and get myself used to the water a little bit, you know, take the course throughout two days, end up passing it. And I at least have a job at that point. And from there, you know, I found out I could actually pay some bills that, you know, I wasn't able to pay before, you know, with lifeguarding through swim instructing. So I took that test and, you know, ended up passing it, got some lessons a couple months later, and everything just kind of started, you know, falling into place. Got a new job that, you know, got paid a little bit more at. And now I'm thinking about doing personal training because I got mornings free right now. That's awesome. And I didn't have that. And I didn't have mornings free at the other place right. before. And which, you have your own podcast now, too. So it's like. Oh, well, I mean, I've been doing this. Oh, OK. But yeah. still, I feel like now, you know, you have a little bit more freedom, too. And oh, my God. I'm sure you have great. a little bit more time to create, which is very important. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how I met Tracy, because, you know, obviously, you know, we weren't here to, you know, she wasn't really thinking about sharing that story. But right. I remember the first time she came on Hamilton Radio. I th I want to say it was with me. I'm not 100% sure. This is like back in like 2019, you know, before she before Mama Rosalina is like even a sitcom thing. Uh -huh. I think Janine just came out. Yeah, the Tapestry of Motherhood. It was that play. And you know, she comes out with another older lady that she's acting with, you know, we kind of just talk about the play, talk about whatever else for an hour, sort of like this. And that was the first, that was the last time I saw her for a while. And she, then she came back over here this year. I'm like, holy shit, Tracy's doing a show here. Yes, she has her own show. Tracy's awesome. My God. Great energy. Go go watch her show Wednesdays at seven thirty, everybody. Yes, no, it was it was awesome. Being in, on her in, show. in Tracy's own words, the most fun you can have on a Wednesday night with your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same person who told who told who told becca to put the mic in her mouth basically oh yeah she was like you gotta put it this <laughs> you, close you, you gotta put it in your mouth <laughs> and i didn't i didn't think she meant like literally but I, I bro he told me too you gotta put it closer so i hope this is close enough <laughs> i is that is that how is that how she started the show she just said the quote and then she just told becca to put the mic in her mouth <laughs> just just followed it up with that yeah something like that <laughs> I believe it. Something like that. 
It, 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 it ended up something like that. Yeah, but she's she's awesome. Little something. Awesome energy. I met her through oh uh, our business networking group. I don't know. She probably told you about it. Mercer County. She told me about it. She she told me that was a kill still. It was. It and was, I was for like, a while, yeah. No, because she told me when it was and everything. She was like, come by. I was like, fuck, I have work. Yeah, because it's on like a, well, it was at the time. I haven't been in a while because I don't know if it's still like happening. But um, it was Tuesday nights, I think, at like 7. But yeah, then nah. something with kills happened now. I believe it's at Flying Pig in Bordentown right over here. Oh, okay. But I haven't, I haven't Never been, been in there. a bit. But um, yeah, so that's how I met her. Um, through a mutual friend, and uh, she said she had a radio show, and she loves Housewives and all reality TV, and I was like, I have to come on. So, yeah. so that's what did it. Yeah, it was like it was. Yeah, the chemistry was great. So, love Tracy. Yeah, no, hundred percent. She's great, great person to talk to. Plus, she's always got food when I come on the show. <laughs> yeah, she did have food when I was, but it was like some really gross chips that. She made us try. Well, I don't know if it was her that made us try it, but I'm trying to think, someone made us try these really gross chips, and I forget what flavor. What, they were. what was what was the last chi- what was the last pair of chips they had? Was what was like, the last pair of chips they had, Ruben? Because I know you did those mustard ones. It was that I think. Oh, I thought those were so good. I'm not even gonna lie. It was like spicy mustard. Oh, dude. But it tasted like wasabi with honey mu- Like it was. I thought it was good. I didn't. I, we I, weren't fans. I don't think any of us liked it. It was, yeah, it was too strong. No, you know, you know what, you know what we did. What me and PJ did, we took the spicy mustard ones. We took the ketchup ones, and then I think we had the BLT ones there too. We put the spicy mustard and ketchup in the middle, and we put the BLT on top and the bottom. <laughs> We just made a fucking sandwich out Did of it. Did it actually taste like it? A little bit. I mean, <laughs> as close as a chip is going to get, It's like probably. space food. Space BLT. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, these are what people on space balls eat. Right. <laughs> actually, we're going to do, um, probably choose the end of October, maybe, or some Thanksgiving. We're going to do a Coca-Cola challenge. Coca-Cola challenge. What is that? A cola challenge, rather. What am I doing? Drinking Coke and Mentos? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> oh fuck you! I, I think I'd rather do the, I think I'd rather do the milk challenge. Okay. Oh uh, okay. You have to get a dollar store one. Yeah. Yeah, get the dollar. Store Don't tell one. me she's trying to have this Coke and Pepsi debate. Fuck that. Dr. Pepper, bro. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Thunder and Dr. Pepper? What the, the fuck is Dr. Yeah. Thunder? That's the Fufu one. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. Dr. Thunder. Not Dr. Thunder. I don't even want it. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> yeah. Dr. Thunder. <laughs> like, Dr. Oh my god. <laughs> like Dr. Thunder brings some Mentos to the party. <laughs> Dr. Th- Do- Dr. Th- Dr. Thunder drops it in and explodes. Drops it in? <laughs> Do- Dr. Dr. Thunder banks it in and sprouts up. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> May the Schwartz be with you. Yeah, no, I believe I don't want to see. I I definitely I don't want to see. And they have a weird one for Sprite too, and it ta- oh, yeah. it tastes like just flat, flat. like sultry lime, like it's just disgusting. Right. Yeah. Hold on. Have you ever have you ever gone to like those big like fancy fountain machines where they have like all the different flavors of stuff? Yeah, and, uh, and what's it called? You know you know what's really fucking good? What? You ever had grape Sprite? Oh, that is uh, good. Yeah. Yes. I've, ha- I've had grape Sprite. I like trying the different flavors of sodas. I like see see I've I've yeah, I've, they, they I've tried I've tried grape sprite. I haven't tried any other flavor because I'm stuck on I tried that. Strawberry, I'm pretty sure, and it was it's good? really good. Yeah, okay. strawberry and strawberry Fanta. It's really good. Oh see? my.
That's fine. The soda jumps from one side <laughs> over your head. I thought he was just going to start shouting at us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Pointing his finger. <laughs> <laughs> it jumps over on the one side and then it goes to the other because that's how gravity works. It's pretty fancy. You said it's in Atlanta? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yo, I got I got one for you. Have you ever heard of Nifty Fifties? Yeah. Yeah, you been there? No. I heard no? <laughs> Is that butterscotch soda? They got they got all different kinds of flavors. I've heard of it. I've they have. Of it. I've heard of they, like the they, cream. Soda, they probably they probably have like fucking blueberry. They they have chocolate. I know that. I tried that. That was disgusting. Uh, they're down south. They're over in Turnersville. Yeah, they're over there. Plus, they got an arcade over there. So. Mhm. Mm yeah. No, I remember Abby's the one who actually put me on that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because she told me she used to go there as a kid. She was like, can we go down here? I'm like, yeah, why not? So. Okay. Well, I haven't been down in a few years. So that's, that's in New Jersey? Yeah. yeah. Shit. Yeah, I got my Honda there. Oh, you know what you got to check out? Huh. You got you to gotta check out Harold's Deli, bro. If Where's you that? There. That's up in Edison. Okay. It's just it's just massive fucking food. You said Harold's? Yeah, Harold's okay. Deli. There, there's a picture of me from New Year's Eve in 2018. Just with this massive sandwich, probably stacked about like yay high. Yeah. You know, just just meats galore. It takes me like <laughs> it takes me like three, four bites to get yeah. from top to bottom on it. Oh my lord. I, 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 I tried my damnedest to finish it. Is it better than a uh, Hoagie Haven? I don't know about better, but Hoagie Haven, you know. You're trying to get good food. You're looking at like fucking just massive amounts of food. Right. When you go when you go to Harold's. Like Abby got a pancake and it was given to her in a pizza box. Cuz it was so fucking big. Oh my god. Wait, so Harold's also has breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, their 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 food their food is just massive. That's the whole that's the whole point. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But but I'm fat though, so <laughs> if it's just me, that's okay. Yeah, I'd probably get full in like three bites. Listen, I'm so fat that when I see someone with a widow's peak haircut, I think of the McDonald's symbol. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, <laughs> dude. When I see Patrick Mahomes play football, I think of the oh Hawaiian my punch God. kid. He does. Yo, yeah, right? Yeah. I can see it. Dude, I'm not a big Patrick Mahomes fan. That's like a very unpopular that's opinion. He I keeps, know. That's because he keeps winning Super Bowls. Yes, Everybody's going to be there thank with you. Thank you. Like, Bro, he's going to be the next Tom Brady. It, yeah, exactly. Because it's like it's fun to watch other people that aren't him win. Because exactly. when you watch him win, it's just like, oh, uh, there we go, another one. Like the first, exactly. Yeah, the first Chiefs game when they lost, I was like, "Thank God!" Like I forget who did they even <laughs> play. They played like some. Who did they play? The Lions? Was it the Lions? They did. They did play the Lions. And they, they lost to the Lions. It was the first week one. Yeah, and I think they played the Lions and they lost. And I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right," because I bet on that game and I, I bet on the Lions and I was like, "Because they had like nobody playing." Yeah, like they're, they're, they're Travis like, Kelsey they're like was best, out. Yeah, Travis Kelsey was out. Their best defender. You know, but was they definitely negotiating his contract. They needed to be humbled. So, so. Kel Travis Kelsey Travis was, Kelsey out. was out. Chris yeah. Jones was renegotiating yeah. his contract, so he had like nobody. Wow. He's they still yeah. almost beat him. <laughs> yeah, they so know, know they what? still. Know worse. Yeah, they lost by one what point. You, what do you mean not scoring anything? We're know, three and zero. Oh, the Giants. the Giants. That was really sad. That was really sad. That was very, very... I was in the Bahamas for that. That wasn't sad for me. I was, Yeah, I was very sad. Um, I was in the sports book watching that, I think, and I was just like, all right, I have to go back. <laughs> they haven't lost this season. They won. They, won. Yeah, they, they, won they beat the Patriots so far. They yeah. beat the Patriots by five. Yeah, that was what last night was that? Last that was night? that was no, the that season was a, opener. Last night was the box. Yeah, yeah okay. last night was last night was the box. Yeah, the one in between those two was the Vikings. Yes, that's what that was. I yeah. Yeah. 
set me off because we weren't even playing any bad teams. I thought they lost by five. Points. No, no, they no. won. They're a tough team that they're playing against. The Eagles. Yeah, no, they've they they've been doing. Let's. You're an Eagles fan, right? I am. Yeah. See, I'm not. I'm not a Eagles fan, but I will say, like, I like a underdog type of story. So if it's like them in the box, I'm like, okay, like, like if they're winning, I'm happy for them because I feel like like they deserve it. And I love Jalen Hurts, like just oh as a God. player, he, as he, a player, he's, he's, he's awesome. Great. Yeah, at least. Pretty much. At least. Yeah. Now, like, some of the fans, that's a different story. Like, the games and, like, the nonsense and chaos, it's a lot. Like, we pouring just, beer we, on top we, of each other and shit, it's, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. You, you're wasting beer. Like, you're don't waste, do that. Yeah, waste of beer. Don't, don't, don't waste it. Those beers are expensive. If you don't want it, just let me drink it. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, you, like, you go you go to this game. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Well, I want to go to the Eagles game in general. Yeah, I want to go to um. So I like the Bills. So I want to go to an Eagles and Bills game, and it's gonna be in Philly, and I'm probably gonna be the bro, only bro, person bro, wearing stop, a Bills jersey. Bro, stop lying. You just want to go to the stadium and just put yourself through a table. Yeah, basically. Like, like stop, I just want to piss lying. people off. Like, because and like going to the bar afterwards, being the only person in a Josh Allen jersey. Like, yeah, I'd probably get spit on. But gotta make sure you have like a back. But that's what I'm saying about the Philadelphia fans. Like, it's just like, come on, like. We could be like cool about losing too. Like it's it's fine if you lose. It is what it is. No, it's not. <laughs> all, all, all that drama that you know the front face is put together. I mean, you gotta really. I know you gotta think about the players, but these guys when they're playing against Joe Philly, they know who you are. They know that you like them. That's about it. But they don't know who you are. Right. So people going to jail for the Eagles. <laughs> and stuff like there, that. it's not just the yeah. Eagles though. There's a couple teams, fan bases that are very culty. Right, I feel like Cowboys fans too, to an extent. Can, I mean, everybody I, I hates Cowboys fans. Them. Yeah, everybody hates Cowboys oh fans. God. But that also reminds me of Philly. See, fans. see, see, see. We get hate that we don't deserve. No matter how much fan a cowboy, no matter how much hate a Cowboys fan gets, they deserve it. Yeah, like, I, 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 I don't care. I don't care what they did. I don't care if they like fit the mold. They deserve it. How, how dare you? <laughs> Yeah, well, they're aren't they still the most popular? Is it, you know, most it's, it's only it's American only been team. about thir- it's only been yeah. about thirty years. No, but I'm saying in the nineties. It's only it's only been about yeah. thirty years. They were, just, they were just as good as the Yankees were playing in the nineties. I have yeah, I haven't the seen it. I haven't seen it. The Yankees? No, the Cowboys. In the nineties? Yeah, I haven't seen it. Well, yeah, I wasn't there. We weren't born. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hold on. So, well, they uh, who did they me, just play? The Cardinals and they lost. Yeah, that was bad. Sucked. Oh yeah, that's true. They did. Hold on. The Mets. Yeah, I don't like the Mets. The Mets suck now. Yeah. What? What the hell changed? My my team is done. So. Well, they did. They did. They were. They were okay last year, but they got bounced out right away. So, like, what? What? What does that mean to me? I remember them being known for sucking, like when I was really little. Just like the Chicago Cubs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Yankees suck now, and I'm yeah. a fan of them, but the Yankees, it's like a total sweat. it sucks. Yeah, hopefully we'll get them the next season. The Yankees have their own channel. They have yes. Channel. It's called Yes. yes. Yeah, Yes yeah. Network. I have it on my TV. Now it's no. <laughs> yeah, now it's <laughs> canceled. <laughs> Curtains closed. <laughs> yeah, very sad. Just so, just so you just so you know, I was less than a year old when the Cowboys won their first Super when, what year won their was last that? Super Bowl. It was January twenty eighth, nineteen ninety six. I was Oof. two. It was two days away from my first birthday. I wasn't even born yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> I was like negative two. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, it's like mostly new people. The Browns too. are doing well. Oh, they were. Are they? Uh, I mean, they unstuffed some. Yeah. But I haven't watched any games this year, but the past few years, they've been doing pretty good, including the Browns. Mm. You know? They were all right. I'm, I'm surprised the Raiders. The Raiders. But then they changed names to Las Vegas Raiders now. They got their own name. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's right. Now, 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 what happens in Vegas can stay there, and they can go back to Oakland. Did you see? Um, Miami got seventy points in their last game. I did see that, and I forget who they played, but they that was hilarious. They it was the Broncos. That's right. Yeah. I didn't even. Well, I have red zone. Yeah, they did. That's true. Yeah. I was bouncing back because I have red zone, so like every five seconds it would go back to that game. You know, you know what it is. The Dolphins are fast as fuck, boy. Yeah, that's no, what they're, it is. they're doing really. I think the Bills are playing them next week. I'm pretty sure, so I'm kind of nervous okay. about that. That's, that should be a good game. Yeah, bro. that's gonna be a good game. Yeah, just put somebody through a table if it makes you angry. <laughs> that's, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, why not? I just, dude, I just I want to go to a Bills game just so I can do that. Put Bills like Mafia, that, bro. That is <laughs> that is just fucking dope. Yeah, because they just they just they they just put themselves through tables when they're at games. That was hilarious. I'm like this this is the greatest. Yeah, fucking the first thing I've ever video seen. I ever saw of that, and then they put on merch like right away, and I was like, this I is perfect. Think, I think diversity fans are Eagles. I love you too. Really? You're just you're just you're you you're, you're just, just targeting us. Yeah, you're just you're just targeting us. No, I I agree with uh I don't I don't even really know too many Bills fans around here honestly. Like That's the first one I know. Yeah, my uh No, my I was going to say my stepdad's from upstate. So like his entire family and his entire life like they're Bills. So like that's kind of like how I got into it. It was like okay. damn, these guys are good like a few years back. But um yeah, if uh, sadly, sadly, my secondary team, which I'm not claiming them right now, would be the Giants because New York. I'm just a New York person, but that's what this has been about. The beautiful about living in New Jersey. New Jersey does not have a sports team, no, except for hockey. I don't know if you uh, Devils, yeah, Devils, Devils, yeah. We had the Nets, the Nets yeah, that's right. yeah. We, we, we were abandoned, yeah, they abandoned us to Brooklyn, they, they abandoned us to go to Atlantic Avenue. <laughs> they they abandoned so, us for a spot on the Monopoly board. So, yeah. But, you know, you could be like any team you want. Like yeah, Jets, it's a lot of you know, Eagles, you Jets, Giants. Yeah, it's Well, cuz who the who who the fuck is trying to bring a sports team to Delaware? Yeah, no. <laughs> Just don't even well, go to like Delaware. A, I don't even know why it's like a you, thing. you got a be- you got a better chance of me going to Iowa for a sports <laughs> game. <laughs> Delaware should just be Maryland at this point. Or yeah. Pennsylvania or like whatever. Like, no, actually, Delaware used to be Pennsylvania. Did it really? Yeah. See, that makes sense. Like, because yeah. it's. It be, it would, um, give you a little bit of truth on that one. Um, Delaware was part of Pennsylvania for a long time. And what happened was the uh, Congress at that time in the 18th century, right before the Bill of Rights was, was signed, that was our Declaration of Independence, right? Yeah, Bill of Rights. Yeah. Yeah. And Okay. So they said they moved. What is the seventies wrestling? (laughs) (laughs) So instead of of them having the the Independence Hall in what is just now Delaware, they put it in Philadelphia, and that's where this. Oh, okay. Interesting. And And then they cut them off. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, where Wilmington is. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wanted to also make sure they were still part of Pennsylvania. Okay. So they put a curve there, but they also want part of the Delaware River. Interesting. So, so the way they settled it was they just made a curve. Yeah, that's why it looks like that then. Because, yeah, like, like uh, I have a friend. She went to school in Wilmington for a while. And so, like, I would go hang out with her all the time. And one minute you're in Wilmington, the next it's, like, Chester, Pennsylvania or right. something. But it's, like, a really nice part of Pennsylvania. Like, it's, it's like, and Delaware, honestly, is really not that nice of a place to live. Like, yeah, I mean, well, especially, like, Wilmington is I, just. I turned on Delaware out. by accident once trying to go to Atlantic City. Oof. Yeah. Big mistake. That was a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know exactly I what mistake. exit. Yeah, I know what exit you're talking about. Yep. Don't, don't feel too bad. I remember one time um, in college, we were trying to go to uh, to the uh, Yankees game, right? Yeah. So we're driving along, you know, everybody's like trying to find their way around. So we're on this small car, traveling, trying to find this 
understand how we ended up in Connecticut. <laughs> what? <laughs> how do you miss that? <laughs> Yeah, really. How the fuck do you yeah, do how that? How did you miss it? <laughs> because you gotta go all the way. No, because here's the thing: you gotta go all the way through Long Island. Yeah, that's like way out. That's like, way out. Wow. So you drove through all the way through there, and you didn't notice there was like mountains around. <laughs> and then just, and then just somehow he's yeah. in fucking New Haven. Yeah, in the Bronx. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Uh, he said, okay, what you got to do is just get over to over the river, and we'll be there. So we kept driving, and I think we missed a couple of exits for some reason, because we were nobody <laughs> paying attention. Everybody was like, no, we got to go this way. Don't so we, my boy Pete, we just kept driving. That's what I know. I said, I said, Pete, guess what? Uh, look at that sign. What does that say? It says, welcome to Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> so you missed the game? <laughs> yeah, we missed the game. Damn. Just hung out, man. Dude. Dude, dude's just down. Hopefully they we'll lost anyway. We're trying to anyway. go to the Yankees game. Somehow he's chilling in Bridgeport. That's hilarious. That don't make no sense. Have you guys ever been to the Hamptons? No. I haven't. I just went for the first time in uh, June to Southampton. It was a okay. lot of fun. It was like uh, two and a half hours away. It's just very like bougie, very high class. Oh, yeah? Everything's very expensive, but the house we stayed at had like a hot tub pool cool. yeah no it, it's really i went for a friend's birthday get together but it's it's very much like uh you'd imagine like just very bougie like new york manhattan but times 10 because it's all like older yeah. rich people yeah it's that's like true. that kind of vibe yeah did i tell you where i'm going for my honeymoon in december i'm not going to disney who the fuck are you no <laughs> that's that's so corny no we're going <laughs> Nah, we're going to Phoenix. Oh, you're going to Phoenix. Nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do in Phoenix? Uh, so I know one day. That eh, that's fine. I know one day we're going to see the Grand Canyon. I wanted to do Route 66, uh-huh. and just you go go across it for right. like two three weeks, but doing that for that long, that many hotels is just too much money. Yeah, and you'd be exhausted. Exhausted. I, I don't give a shit about that, but. No, I, w- I wanted to do that, so we're going to Phoenix instead because, you know, the route's, like, that's going to be closest to where the route is, so we're going to do that for a day, and we're going to go by the Grand Canyon, so it's awesome. we're going to make a day out of that over there. You know, um, if you go to uh, Flagstaff, which is not too far, I heard. Um, you can do the, uh, which is pretty cool, I don't know if you'd be into it, but they do the great train drive over there, if you've ever been there. Yeah, I heard really? about that. Yeah. And they have the guys, they ride the horses, and they jump on the train. Oh, that's pretty neat. You know what I, yeah. you know what I was looking forward to d- doing that I probably won't get to do? Yeah. You know that, like, you know that place where they have that, like, big steak? That, like, 72-ounce one? Oh, we were talking in, like, about Texas. that last time, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah, we were talking about that. That sounds crazy. Yeah, it was over, it's, I think it's, like, over in Texas or some shit. Uh, yeah, no, I wanted to do that. How big is the steak? Seventy-two ounces. Like, how big is that? If you look at it, like, I, how big? So, is that? I've had. That's a long drive. No, nah, yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I wanted to do it. I'm not gonna do it. But I, I don't. I don't know how to compare it because there's this like thirty ounce one that I get when I go to. What's that place called by where Abby lives? It's over in New Egypt. Plumstead Grill. Because they they have a big because they have a big one over there. I'm like I just I just I just want to put it all in my face. And you you finished the entire happens. thing. I I did, but it's like less than half of that. Gotcha. So. Oh, I think I think either in New Mexico um, near that area, um, there's two places that are fucking like they said one place called the Great Plateau, and then there's another one called the Artifact Burger. And like what like what Tim Eli like what what Tim McRae has. Just hella, just hella pork roll, bacon, and ham. Yeah, I think we were talking about this last time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like it's, it's, it's bread, mayo, mustard, a quarter pound beef burger. Yes. Three cheeses, bacon, tomato, lettuce, and it just repeats itself. So about this, and they say if you eat the whole thing, you don't pay for it. 
boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, we were talking about that. Why, yeah. Why, why, why and the we fuck said we were gonna split it. it. Have to pay for yeah. It. Yeah, that's Nobody, like nobody's a, gonna get that if they have to pay for it, dude. I know. Well, they, you gotta go in there and like, like, like you, you know, like you're starving. Like, you're, like you're right. Well, even if you're starving, I feel like you'd yeah, feel right, like fast well, if it's greasy. Yeah, no like, like you're yeah. about to get sentenced. Yeah, it's death row. It's your yeah. death row meal. I think it's like a foot and a half high or something. Like Jesus. Like yeah, you need a team for that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah right. S- squat up on this. Right, at least like six Squat people. up on this meat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I do want to ask you before we go. So, you know, you started with the, you know, car business. You started with, you know, cleaning people's cars out, you know, providing different stuff with that. Is there anything, you know, else that you want to do that involves that? Because you talked a little bit about expanding, you know, and trying to be, you know, like a little bit more behind the scenes, uh-huh. you know, after. So I was just wondering, is there like anything like else like you were trying to do with that business that you're maybe not doing now? Um, Yeah, the only thing that I really want to do is kind of what I talked to about Tracy. I don't know if I talked to her about like what my plan is moving forward with like the other project I'm working on. But I can tell you a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, tell me a little bit. Yeah, so uh, have you heard of SMMA, Social SMMA. Media Marketing Agency? No. So uh, basically for the past year or so, I've been um, working on this project where I developed kind of an agency where I run Google and Facebook ads for service-based businesses. So it's okay. like lead generation. Yeah. And all of the numbers and everything are tracked through like Facebook and Google. Um, so how you make the money is you get a monthly retainer from people, from business owners who don't have time to run ads for themselves, Yeah, who want to create more revenue and yeah. add more clients to their books every month. They'll hire me or whoever I outsource to run ads for them. Okay. So that's like, uh, that's more of, uh, my future and long-term goal that I really feel like is going to be something because that's something that is a lot easier to scale, costs a lot less money to operate, yeah. and I can do it from anywhere. Um, nice. I, yeah, I have a home office that I, that I do it in. Oh, spend. yeah. When I'm not detailing, I'm in my office, and I love it. It's so chill. Um, then I have, like, it's a whole process. Like, you have to prospect people, outreach, follow up, actually book the meeting, then provide the service, and you get paid, let's say, like, $2,000 a month per client. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's a, yeah, that's like something that I, and I, the reason why I wanted to do it is because I've been doing that for so long in my business, running ads, and I learned about it all myself. Yeah. And um, I took some courses like through Google and Goldman Sachs to learn more about like that's cool. analytics and how to actually convert people into uh, like contacting you. So that's the reason why I was so confident to kind of start it. But um, see, that's the part I was never good at. I'm good at going up here and shooting the shit on a mic. Right. You know, I'm good at you know, you know, throwing somebody's kid around in the pool. I'm good at you know teaching somebody a stroke or a movement. I was never good at this. I've I've never been good at the selling part. Right. Because I don't know. I feel like. I'm never going to sell somebody something that's, you know, either wrong or an exaggeration. Right. You know, because I I, I try to shoot it straight with everybody. I was never good at, you know, any of the any of the selling stuff, you know, I guess that you need for like to get that like book coming in. No, absolutely. That's selling is the hardest part. Um, I'm actually reading a book right now. It's called how introverts have the edge over outselling anyone because I've just always been a very introverted person. Yeah. Um, so I really don't like to like try to, I guess, sell to people or convince someone to do something. I just get really uncomfortable. Um, but the book basically just goes over how I uh, just as people, people love to talk about themselves. Introverts have the edge over extroverts with selling because, uh, the customer does most of the talking, ends up talking themselves into it. And you only have to kind of, like, state a couple facts, give them a little bit more confidence, and uh, put on the bandage a little bit for them so they feel confident, and they end up closing the deal That does you. make it easy. Yeah, because uh, people just want to be heard. People want you to listen to them, and um, 
so yeah, I feel like that's why very extroverted pre- people don't do as well because they're they're very salesy, trying to convince you to do something, and usually that turns people off. That turns me off for sure. Honestly, I just, I, I'm just, not, I'm just not gonna sell some. I'm just not gonna sell somebody BS. No, that too. You absolutely, know that? you have to believe in what you're yeah. selling and know that you have results to to back it up as well. And I, and I know, and I know if I say something, like it's gonna it it's gonna be like that as much to the letter as it can be like it's not gonna be like this big exaggeration right and you know not somebody's not gonna be looking at it like this isn't what i thought it was no yeah my motto is always uh over deliver but under promise so under promise the person but over deliver so be very conservative about like the results that you're telling the person so even if i know i can get someone 10 new people a month to uh go to their business i'll just say like five that's fair. you know and then so if i get like seven or eight or nine it's like i still over delivered yeah that's fair yeah for I sure but uh you have to do it for the right reasons too you can't like just to be doing it for money um no matter yeah. what you do if you just do anything for money you're gonna fail yeah no nah, i'm not I'm never, I'm never, I've, I will tell you this. I'm never going to clean people's cars out for money. <laughs> the, I can't, yeah. I can't even, I can't even get my own car straight. Right. Yeah. The money, the money. I don't a- even want to do that. Uh, dude, I will, dude, I will get home and I will look at some of those water bottles in the front seat and I'll just be like, eh, no. Yeah. And no. just walk away. Well, when it comes to your own car, when you do it every single day, it's like my, my inside of my car is clean and everything, but that's the last vehicle that i get to because i'm doing this I'm every sure. single day so when i see something in my car i'm, I'm, like, su- I'm, I'm just... surprised you get to it i do i clean the inside probably like once every two weeks and then i wash the outside usually once a week yeah yeah so because my fiance is a graphic designer right awesome like i used to ask for like help like on flyers you know when i was doing comedy a lot more often and you know, before she had like the full time job she has now at Robert Wood, she would help me out with it. Once she got that full time job, it, it it it's not happening. Was she a nurse or? No, so she does graphic design for Robert Wood Johnson. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she works over at the one in Hamilton. That's actually right by both me and you. Yeah. So. Actually, right by all of us. Yeah, <laughs> since literally. We're, since we're both there. <laughs> and everybody watching too, probably. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Holy shit. No, but, dude, I really appreciate you coming yeah, on, no, man. Thank you so I had much. so much I was, fun. I was really excited to do this, and yeah. thank you for having no, me on. I appreciate this was, it. This, this was awesome. We'll have you to do fun? it again sometime. Of course, yeah. Dude, yeah. honestly, like, no one takes advantage of this. My show is an open-door policy. Come back anytime. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'll definitely take literally, advantage. Literally, no one takes advantage of that. Yeah, because I feel like people feel weird about it, like, you know. But I would at least like text you and be like, "Hey, like, do you want to do something soon?" You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you have my number. Yeah, for sure. So, anyways, everybody, this has been Hot Tag Takes on HamiltonRadio.net channel HR2. Make sure you like and subscribe to John Brecco on YouTube. This is where all the shows are available. We are closing in on 100 subscribers. We have 92 currently. We have eight more to go before the end of the year, which was our goal for this year. Make sure we get there. Make sure we add on 100 to this year and then beyond. All right? I need you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. All right? It's been Hot Tag Takes. John Brecco. Becca Compagnucci. We out. We out. We out. Let's go. (laughs) 